You know, guys, I gotta be honest. January of 2018 for movies, so far, has been pretty solid. Say what? What's going on guys, Ryan O'Toole back here again, giving you guys another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing a new war movie in the month of January, and it does have some really well-known actors in it. And that movie is 12 Strong. Directed by, the director's name is really hard to pronounce, so I'm just going to put it right here. Starring Chris Hemsworth, Michael Shannon, Michael Pena, and Trevante Rhodes. This movie takes place right after the September 11th attacks. The U.S. Special Forces sends a team led by Chris Hemsworth, Michael Shannon, Michael Pena, Trevante Rhodes, 12 soldiers on a mission to Afghanistan to team up with the Northern Alliance of troops. They're going on a mission to take out the Taliban forces, the group of terrorists, before other terrorist attacks happen after 9-11. And 12 Strong basically showcases the events after 9-11 and the soldiers' bravery. When I first saw the trailer to this movie, it had me thinking one thing. It was coming out in the month of January, and there was another war movie that came out in 2016, in the month of January, and that was 13 Hours, directed by Michael Bay. 12 Strong also had a great cast involved. Chris Hemsworth, Michael Pena, Michael Shannon have all proven themselves to be great actors. And Trevante Rhodes, too, for Moonlight. I enjoyed this movie. It's a pretty solid movie for the month of January. The whole movie, all in all, just has a really epic vibe to it, with a lot of well-known war movie elements that I pretty much enjoyed. So let's go to the positives. The biggest positive for 12 Strong, in my opinion, are the action sequences. There are amazing action sequences that go down in this movie, and they're really well shot, and they're really suspenseful. They didn't feel shaky cam to me. Like, it really makes you feel like you're a part of this battle. With the amazing score accompanying this amazing action sequence going down, you can hear the gunshots going, you can hear the bombs exploding, and really IMAX is the way to see this film. I didn't see it in IMAX, but the whole theater was just shaking. And that's why I appreciate it about this film. Out of all the performances in this movie, I would say the two standouts were Chris Hemsworth and Michael Shannon. Chris Hemsworth especially. Watching this movie, he's playing a leader, a captain. So basically, think of him as Thor. Now he's playing Captain America. And that's what he is in this movie. And he does a pretty good job. Michael Shannon, he gives a good performance as well. His character is really resonant. There's some scenes with him in this movie that you're really going to see as kind of connective and you really feel for the bond that they have. Also, the cinematography in this movie looked really good. There's a lot of great landscape shots in the overall film. A lot of beautiful wides of this countryside. Like this whole entire country of Afghanistan. Like it looks really bright and really disgusting. Like it really looked Ready. Out of all those cool sequences in 12 Strong, those are about the things I really liked about 12 Strong. It's not that great of a film to me. It's not phenomenal. I did have some gripes with this film that are kind of eh. So let's get right to them. Now the title of the film is 12 Strong and the character development is kind of rocky on some of the other characters in the film. Particularly, let's start with Michael Pena. There's one great scene with him at the beginning, and Michael Pena gives his normal humor, like his MCU-style humor he gives, and I didn't find an attachment to him. Like, to be honest, I wanted to see him give, like, a really emotional scene, and he kind of cracks jokes every second. Trevante Rhodes, he has an amazing subplot in this film involving somebody that I won't ruin for you, but... Trevante Rhodes also could have had a lot more emotional, powerful scenes. Which leads me to my next flaw, it's the humor in this film. You know how guys talk usually, they talk about a lot of things like girls and just random shit. The humor in this movie didn't really work for me. I didn't 
feel that camaraderie in this film like I have in other war movies. Like some of the humor just feels kind of forced and heavy handed. Whenever the emotional scenes go down, we needed more of those. And then it goes to a humorous scene. Like, that's how the MCU works. Also, this movie feels very cliche and predictable at a lot of points. I could tell what scene was going to happen next. I kind of wish that this movie would take a little bit more risks and not be a straightforward story. There's one scene in particular they do a really fantastic job at. But the whole movie, I could kind of see what was going to happen at the end. Other than that guys, 12 Strong is a really solid flick for the month of January. It is a pretty good war movie. If you're into war films, I would definitely recommend checking this one out. There's some great action sequences in the film, a great score, a film that you should support. Support the armed forces and 12 Strong did a great job of that. On my rating scale, I'm going to give 12 Strong a 3 out of 5 stars. Alright guys, that was my review for 12 Strong. Have you guys seen it yet and what did you think of it? Did you love it? Think it was okay or did you absolutely hate it? Let me know down below. Thank you guys as always for watching this review and if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below. Click the notification bell on your way out and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!